I'm Afro40 welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be all about box braids now I have here my freshly washed and deep conditioned hair and you can see how much shrinkage I get actually from washing my hair it's not it's not actually that much I would say my hair probably shrinks to about 50% maybe 50% I don't know I'm just guessing anyway but yeah so um so this is freshly washed and deep conditioned hair there is currently no product at all in my hair so what I normally do is before I start to um, do my box braids is I go in with a leave-in conditioner and as you guys know my favorite leave-in conditioner is the Giovanni direct leave-in weightless moisture that's the conditioner that I will be using today so what I usually do is I've blotted my hair with a towel so that it doesn't drip as much as it was when it was just freshly washed but it's still quite wet so I just tend to normally I just shake my head but I'm just going to try and shake out any excess kind of water and then I go ahead and just section my hair into four workable easy sections before I apply my conditioner now when I wash my hair I wash it in sections also I just took the sections out so that I could um, after I towel blotted each section I took them out actually so that I could shake them um, but if you want to see how I wash my hair then I do have a wash hair routine video that I have uploaded for you guys so you can check that out um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair and I shall be back. So I finished um, sectioning my hair into four parts and um, I'm about to go in now and use my weightless moisture. I'd like to just say though, regards to my wash routine, it's basically exactly the same as it was before when I uploaded the video. The only difference is that now I use olive oil. I've added that to my um, conditioner. So I add olive oil uh, to my hair, I mean with the conditioner and then I sit under my hooded dryer with a plastic cap on my head for 40 minutes. Uh, most people do 15, 30, but I find for me and for my hair, 40 minutes is key and it really does make a difference because that olive oil really does get into the hair shaft and it leaves my hair like moisturized so I don't have to reapply anything for an entire week. Once I've put my hair in the box sprays, I don't have to reapply any product to it. It just stays moisturized for the whole week. And um, that's what I found has made a difference to me. So just spilt some of the leave-in everywhere. But you only need about this amount um, per section, depending on how um, dense your hair is or how thick your hair is. I have fine hair strands, but I have lots of them. So my hair appears to be very, very thick, but the actual individual strands are really fine. So I have to be careful to remember that when I'm co when I'm um, detangling because my hair can be quite fragile in that sense if you get what I'm saying. So um, so well, I go I ahead and applying all the leave into my hair and what I did is I just unraveled the um, sections again because my hair is really still quite wet and I want to start on damp hair, not wet hair, when I start to do my box braids. Now I would like to in um have my box braids laid and slayed. There's been a lot of like talk going around YouTube about having your hair laid and slayed. And you see all these women uploading videos and men uploading videos where they flat iron their hair and it's just black, it's shiny, it's silky, and they just they just flick their their heads and the hair is just moving like as if it's in the wind and it's all very glamorous and stuff. But I think it's about time we celebrated box braids being laid and slayed because box braids can also sit laid and slayed on your head if you just know the technique that you need to apply in order to achieve that. So what you need to do in my opinion is to start off with hair that is obviously washed deep conditioned put your leave in put you know apply your leave into it but also don't start with hair that is soaking wet. You want to start with hair that is damp because the whole idea of having your box braids laid and slayed is that they so kind of twisting butter is ideal for this purpose because when you start it on damp hair as opposed to soaking wet hair it allows your hair to elongate so that's where you get that hang from is when your hair when your curl is elongated so it's not so kind of um tight you know 
Um, so this is why this product is key if you want to have the hang. Okay, so. Hey guys, so I have finished braiding my hair. Uh, it took me close enough to three hours. Um, I'm not sure how many braids I ended up doing on my head in the end, but um, I'm liking the results. I'm really pleased with it. And they are definitely laid and slayed. So, you know, can't really complain. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up now. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried box braids with your natural hair, without extensions that is, and how did you get on? Maybe you'd like to try this method and see how you get on. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if this is your first time visiting this channel, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it too. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you real soon in the next one. Bye.